Hey everybody, Brian here from Fitzpatrick's. So here's a question that comes up. Actually, to be fair, it's not really a problem that we get, but it's definitely a question. So electric car, like for example, this Hyundai Kona, I have a charge cable. So when I want to put the charge cable in, I insert it, that's fine. And then we wait and it starts charging now. We'll get to the point here. This is more about what happens if basically you can't remove the charge cable when you get back to your car. So in this case, it's on, it's locked. I cannot take that charge cable out. So that's actually no problem at all. That's standard operating procedure. Basically, once the charge cable's gone in and it's on charge, it is locked in place. But I've got a key and that'll allow me to take the charge cable back out. Back to our car then. So like I was saying to you, I can't remove it. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is actually just, if anyone else asks, I can't remove it from either side, by the way. So open. And now the charging is interrupted and I can actually take out the cable, that's fine. So no real issues there, pretty straightforward. And to be fair, on the corners, we've never had an issue. Actually, we, no, I'm not saying it can't happen, but we've never had an issue where somebody's rang us saying the charge cable is stuck in the car. But what happens if it is? So let's get our car back on charge. And then what we'll do is pop the bonnet. So I'm gonna open the car, pop the bonnet. Just as a quick tester again, that is locked in place. So we'll open up that engine bay. Anyway. Usually the emergency release points are quite close. So depending on what electric car you have, you'll generally find if it's in the rear, it's probably in the boot. If it's a front facing one, it's normally um, quite close to the charge point. So this here, it's gonna pull that. It takes a little bit of a yank to be fair. And now it's released. It's a pretty straightforward mechanism. You can kind of hear, see along here is the cable, which goes down under there in here and into the back of the charging point. So all you're doing is literally just and it, to be fair it doesn't feel very solid and it, you kind of feel slightly vague when you're pulling it but it does the job so just pull that a bit of a yank on it and it frees things up in my case then i'm just going to push it back down push that back in just to make sure everything is working properly again charging starts and just to make sure then it is locked in place so let's do that once more to do it i'm literally Pulling. There's a bit of tension just at the end as you pull at the very end part. It's free, pull it out. So anyway, that is hopefully a useful piece of information for somebody that might be worried about how to manually release the uh, charging cable on Hyundai Kona in this case. And there is going to be other models that will do similar things. So I'll show you in other videos. Anyway, hopefully the video is useful. <clears throat> if there's anything I've missed, let me know in the comment section below. If there's something else you want to know that I might be able to answer, I'll do my best. Again, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.